Don't shoot. I know why you're here and you're making a big mistake. Oh, let us guess. You're the real ball. Precisely. Don't shoot. I am the real ball. Sam, we got ball. Copy that. So do we. Well, you guys got your work cut out for you, huh? can see the difference. I still cannot. Get them on there. See if they can sort out who's who. In the meantime... You must understand that what I did was out of necessity. You were the ones who invited the Aura into this galaxy. I was merely trying to preserve a safe haven for myself and a few good friends. You mean slaves. But if I succeeded, the Ori would have lost interest in being on their merry way. You were going to save the galaxy by destroying pretty much everyone in it. I don't believe they're bad me. They're going to pay. All of them are going to pay. Wait! Well, make yourselves comfortable. We're gonna be here a while. How long have you been trapped in here? Three agonizingly tedious days. Which reminds me, I don't suppose you have any food. You've had the ancient database for months. Why did it take you so long to get here? I can't think clearly on an empty stomach. I became trapped in here, they set off in search of a means of freeing me. <laughs> they have yet to return. Something must have come up. Obviously. I have nothing to donate. That particular item holds great sentimental value. Yet again, we find ourselves the unlikeliest of allies, joined together in common purpose. You know, the word allies implies some sort of partnership, and that just isn't the case here. You see, we are going after the Sangrel, while you are tagging along for the ride. <laughs> the Sangrel is located within. It's too bad you won't be coming with us. I thought I made it clear you need me. I wasn't talking to you. Ah, well, uh, allow me to get out of your line of fire. <laughs> you. Why don't you do something? You're the Orosai. You're supposedly possessed of significant powers. So snuff out the flame and get us on our way. My abilities don't work that way. <laughs> of course. Uh, how does the saying go? All flash, no photo? Actually, it's all flash, no substance. I prefer my version. He's tiny. Have him squeeze through the bars. Assist us or I will squeeze you through these bars. <laughs> Want to use your powers to lift it? Would you care for a demonstration? Taking your life would be a waste of my time. Which I suppose would be put to better use complaining. Oh, jeez. Why don't you to just get a room? Brave knights. Fortunately, indeed, a smile upon me to see your faces again. Looks like Merlin's drawbridge no longer goes all the way across the moat if you catch my meaning. What's that? Mordred. I might have known it. We're wasting our time with this old fool. We need to get back to the gate so I can start reprogramming this, um... the... <coughs> well, how do you like that? The old boy still has some tricks up his sleeve. Merlin, I told you I can fix the dialing device. Merlin's little trick with my vocal cords expired at the same moment he did. 
Yet another reason to mourn his passing. Joke all you want, Tilk. But I am the only one who can get us out of here. He is good with dialing programs. Maybe if we work together. I'm having trouble finding the relocation program. It must be buried in one of the correlative subroutines. We'll never find it using those search protocols. I'm gonna have to make some adjustments to your program. How much longer is this gonna take? It's impossible to say. All I know for sure is it would have been a lot easier on that nice, warm desert planet. Maybe the relocation program isn't in the DHD processor at all. What, the obelisk? <laughs> You obviously have no idea what you are talking about. Says the Brainiac who spent three days trapped in that force field. That technology is strictly used for localized transport. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's obviously what's beaming us through the gate every time there's an open wormhole. But what if it also contains a remote dialer? It's one thing to send someone here and there on the surface of the planet. It's quite another to send them halfway across the galaxy. It's like uh, comparing a laptop to a supercomputer. I cannot believe I'm even considering cooperating with a female of the Tari. I cannot do what you ask by means of a hologram transmission. Sure you can. Just tell me what to do. Well, you didn't have to contain the entire navigational system, now would it? Just a command code sufficient to override normal dialing protocols. Yes. But to borrow a rather quaint human phrase, why hide a needle in a small haystack when you can use an enormous one? Wouldn't be much of a security measure if it could be discovered by the first towery female who comes along, would it, now? I'm sorry. Are you dismissing my idea out of hand because I'm human? Or because I'm a woman? <laughs> a little of both, I suppose. You know what? I'll check it myself. I need your help. Look, I still think I'm right about the obelisk, but I can't make heads or tails of its programming. <laughs> well, that's hardly surprising. Try it now! I'm still not reading any anomalies. This is ridiculous. I can't, I can't be expected to work like this. I can barely see, my fingers are numb. I say... We go back inside, we warm up, we take our chances on the next planet. I mean, I know where you come from, you're considered relatively intelligent, but by galactic standards, that's not really saying much. Wouldn't you agree? You know, if you're not gonna help, then you're really not much use to us. And if you're not much use to us, then there's really no point in keeping you alive any longer. Wouldn't you agree? Be delighted to help. Great to hear it. It's a command override. I can't believe we actually found it. Clearly, you work well together. Now that we've identified the program, it should be a simple matter to shut it down. 